Oh yeah, hi there. So in this video, we're going to set up a very simple example with Supabase and SvelteKit. So what is Supabase? You can see right here, the open source alternative to Firebase. It's similar to Userbase in that you don't really have to set anything up on the back end. It's just given to you automatically. But I'd say Supabase has more features. Basically, you can do whatever you want with it. It's just a little bit more complicated than Userbase. Uh, user base. But it is pretty cool. It's in beta still, but everything uh, is working well as far as I can tell. So uh, let's get started. Let's first add uh, Supabase to our SvelteKit project. Okay, so here I am. I just have the skeleton project. And if we come here um, to Svelte Add, you'll see there's an option for Supabase right here. We're going to click on that, and then we'll run this one right here. So right now it's um, under Josh, Josh Nuss, but um, great guy. But eventually it'll probably just be Svelte Add Supabase. So for now, though, we're going to run this here. And yes, proceed. And what that will do is add an env.env .env, uh, file right here. And then in our lib, it will just set up the client for us. OK, so uh, all we care about right now is these two here, Supabase URL and a non key. So this is the simplest way to set it up. And uh, we have these two here, but we don't really care about them. We're just going to do these two. So where do we get these two things? Good question. So we come back here to Supabase and we sign in. And I've already signed in, but it'll probably ask you for your GitHub. And then once you're in here, you'll do new project and then give it a name and then a very elaborate password um, and a region that is closest to you. And then click next. And that'll take about two minutes to set everything up. So I already set it up here. So let me click on that and you'll get this uh, dashboard here. Cool, so now we come to API, because we're trying to get those two uh, keys, and here they are. So we got a Superbase key, uh, this is the client key, and we have a Superbase URL. This down here is the service key, which is super secret, and it is different than this one. I was confused at first, because they start with the same letters, but they're different. Uh, and this is super secret, this has to be like hidden in the background, uh, in the back end. But this here, this is a public anonymous key, um, so it's okay for people to see it. So we're going to put this one right here in Vitsubabase Anon key. And you don't need the quotation marks. And then here, Supabase URL. It's kind of a weird word to say, Supabase. And put that right here. And that will just pull it in here from the end and get it all set up for us. And we'll have access to this variable to do cool things. So let me show you. It's just going to be signing up. So right here, uh, if you scroll down on the main page a bit, they've got some examples. So Svelte Add already did all this. Um, well, we did this part, but anyway, that's all set up. Now we just have to run this function here. So let me come to index.svelte, and we're going to script, script tag. Actually, I should have just done this. Script tag, and then import supabase from lib slash db. OK, and then let's put this in a function, an async function. Sign up and paste that in there. And let's just create a button. Sign up, on click, sign up. OK, so let me use an email that I actually have access to, svelte dummy. And we'll console.log the user and an error. Hopefully there won't be one. And then we'll do npm run dev. Port 3000 occupied. Maybe I already have it running. Let me get rid of that. Let me just. OK. So here we are. Let's open this up. So let me show you first that authentication users. We don't have any users right now. But now if I sign up, hopefully this works. Cool, now we get this user back at sveltdummy at email. Oh, whoops, I messed that up. It should be gmail.com, because I have access to gmail.com. Um, but if we come here and we refresh, we now have a sveltdummy at email.com. But uh, I just changed it. Let's try this again. Um, OK, cool. So now we have someone at gmail.com. And then you'll notice I should get an email up here. Um, so come back here, refresh. OK, now it's at gmail.com. And then I come here. Let me also refresh. Here we go. 
So we got to confirm my sign up. Otherwise, I won't have access to the database, um, at least with this default setup that we've, mm -hmm. we have. So I'll confirm my email. And cool, it brings me back. And now I'm sort of, I have access to data. So I'm not going to do that in this video, but um, you can play around with this. Next steps would be table editor, basically add a table, and then you can come here and create a record, read a record, that kind of thing. But I'll do a video on that next. So that's all for this video and have a wonderful day. Bye.